Good morning, Anthony. Good morning. How are you doing today? Excellent. Beautiful day in Mariposa. Tony Boy, and you're the uh, fixed base operator for the Mariposa <laughs> Airport. Yep, Airborne Aviation Services and Yosemite Airways. All right. And uh, I've been making jokes about your new airline services, but um, it's not really a joke. You've got a new airplane, and uh, you've significantly expanded your abilities out here. We, we do have a new aircraft. Uh, Happy, actually it's Flying Goat LLC, you know, Happy Goat Farms over here right across the airport. Uh, John Cahalan and uh, family uh, purchased an aircraft uh, for personal use, for their personal use, as well as for us to put it on our 135 uh, charter certificate. So we're working on that to get the aircraft on our charter and then we're planning to charter the aircraft uh, for the public, for, so air taxi service. So I've heard stories about this airplane. It's uh, got some additional seating capacity. It's pretty fast. Yep, yeah, we go over 250 knots. We can climb up to 30,000 feet. It's a Piper PA46 500 TP, which is what they call a Piper Meridian aircraft, turboprop. And uh, five, uh, it's a six place aircraft, so five passengers we can accommodate. In the baggage compartment, uh, 100 pounds of baggage, which is typically three carry-ons at, at an airline. But if uh, three people are flying, we can always strap the uh, baggage in a, a vacant seat and that sort of thing. So it's capable uh, aircraft. Um, what about its range? Well, it, it depends. The more pay, payload you put in it, the more passengers and baggage, the range diminishes uh, quite significantly. So for short haul, like from here to the LA area, or from here to San Francisco, it'd even be better. We can pretty much carry full capacity passengers. But if we're going to be going further, even the LA basin area, uh, then we have to not carry as much fuel. And there's a, uh, we could carry the, the payload but we won't have the fuel capacity, which is fine because it's not very far anyway. It's about so, a two-hour trip to uh, L.A., roughly. That was going to be my second question. And the Bay Area is how far? Oh, it's 45 minutes, depending on where you go in the Bay Area. That's uh, so... Uh, people flying in and out of Yosemite, this is uh, pretty, pretty neat, huh? I think it's great, yeah. It's a great opportunity. We can pick up folks uh, from the Bay Area, uh, from the LA area, from Bakersfield, wherever, and we can fly them right in here to Mariposa and then they can go on their Yosemite adventure. Oh, their happy go to adventure. Huh? Yes, yes, and he's building up uh, quite a, um, an operation over there. I, I'm not privy to all what's going on, but um, the little bit that he has informed me of, it sounds like a really uh, neat, neat deal that he's, he's building over there, so. Oh. Uh, destination. He's he, building a destination. He is, yes. Uh, and uh, some real 21st century stuff going on over there. Uh, new farm techniques and technology and, and uh, it's pretty amazing. I, I go over there once in a while and hold a goat. <laughs> ah, yeah I know the, about the goats. That's probably as much as I know about what's going on over there. But yeah, I understand he's building somewhat of a resort, so that's really cool. And we'll have more and more folks flying in and out of here because of that, which is great for our operations here, for the economy at Mariposa, Yosemite area here. So it's, it's pretty neat to see the, see the growth. So um, you want to talk to me a little bit about what you got going on out here other than the new airplane? Well, sure, it's kind of the same old. Uh, we still have the flight school. Um, I haven't been spending as much time training because I've been working on uh, putting this new aircraft on our certificate and the other um, operations. We're doing maintenance, of course. Uh, we sell fuel. We've upgraded our fuel system to some degree. And um, the new aircraft uses different kind of fuel, right? Yeah, it uses the Jet A fuel since it is a turboprop. Um, rental cars, we st we're still doing the rental car business, and, and um, uh, what else we got going here? 
But courtesy cars for those pilots that come in and want to go into town, shop around, we offer that free of charge. And um, we've actually sold, we're selling some aircraft, we've done that, so we're kind of dipping our toe into aircraft sales now a little bit. And, um, and all that keeping me pretty busy with uh, part of my family's up in Reno, so I travel there quite often. Okay. Which is sweet to do out of this airport, because uh, depending on the airplane I'm flying, it could be... Matter of fact, the other day I made the trip in 30 minutes, uh, mm -hmm. 32 minutes technically, which 32 is 32 minutes. minutes fly from here to actually Carson City. Um, mm -hmm. So that's that's real nice. Otherwise, it's sometimes four or five hour drive depending. Yeah.